Hey guys, what's up? Thank you for joining me. A top 10 list for spring. We all love to watch the top 10s. I love to always see what you guys are wearing and what you're enjoying and what's in your top 10. So I wanted to do one myself for the springtime. I know I'm kind of late to the party with this one, but we do have, you know, I think a couple more months, about a month and a half yet of, of spring. And here in Maryland, we've been actually getting a nice spring. Uh, today was kind of a uh, a warm day, uh, low to mid 80s, I think. But um, but happy Easter! Just wanted to kind of give you guys a, a top 10. You know, uh, it's nice to do the 25s and the 20s and the 30s and things like that. But I think if you narrow it down to a good 10, I think that's what we really kind of want to see. So I wanted to do that for you guys today. And again, happy Easter. Hope all is well with everyone out there. You guys are probably smelling great. Uh, but springtime, I just love this. You know, the flowers, the fresh cut grass. Uh, you know, just, just a great time, um, you know, just, I love it because it's not too hot yet, you know, you get to kind of the cool mornings, but then they kind of just get perfect during the day, so, but enough rambling on, let's get with it. Again, this is just my list, and uh, there's so many fragrances I could have chose, but these are kind of the ones that I really wanted to concentrate on, and I'm really, really enjoying the springtime, so. Number 10, I know we probably all forgot about this little beauty right here, but um, I was introduced to it a few years back. And I actually found a vintage bottle. This stuff lasts a long, long time on my skin. It, it kind of has this little sweetness, but is very fresh. And I think it just works perfect. Uh, it could work good for summer, but I think it's just a beauty for springtime. But this one is the original Guerlain Ohm. And uh, just a beautiful lime in there to keep it fresh. You got some mint, but then you also have that vetiver. And there's also this little like boozy note in there. I don't know if it's rum or rum or something, but I don't know. It's just class. I mean, it's just classy in a bottle. I mean, it's just an amazing fragrance, guys. So, Guerlain Ohm from uh, Guerlain. Uh, number nine. Uh, this one, I love the original, of course. Don't get me wrong, but when this came out, this is exactly the way I would have put it together. You know, this is just a little bit of a fresher version. Uh, the orange is a little brighter, and it's just amazing, guys. So, the, at my number nine, Terre d'Air Hermes Eau Fraiche. Uh, like I said, that strong orange note. Um, just amazing. Still gets a little woody in there, which is nice, uh, but just stays really fresh. And uh, just that orange is, is just gorgeous in this guy. So another classy, classy fragrance, and it's not that expensive. So I love that one. Uh, number eight. Now this one can kind of lean feminine a little bit, but again, it works off my skin really well. And I get compliments with it and people really, really do like it. Now this would smell amazing on a woman, but it does smell great for a guy as well if you can pull it off. Not, I'm not saying everyone can pull it off, uh, but just a very well created mixture and blend of a fragrance. And uh, as we know, Dominique Ropian, Carnal Flower from Frederick Mall, unbelievable. Um, just has this eucalyptus note in there. Uh, you know, like I said, it's a tuberose bomb and it's, it's, it's floral, but it's definitely wearable. So, Carnal Flower coming in at number eight. Now, number seven, I think there's not many people talk about this one, and some of you may not enjoy it, but man, I, I get compliments with it. People like it. People wonder what it is. It, it's, it smells like nothing out there, which, which I really, really love. You know, and that's what I like about a fragrance too. I don't want it to be crazy where people aren't gonna like it and, and, and it's like, well, I don't care, but because it's, it's just different, you know, I'm not like that, but I'm just saying this one is just comes off just clean, beautiful, and it's just something that I've never smelled before and, and I love it and um, just awesome. Now this is the, it's not, I'm not gonna say reformulated version, but this is the version you can get right now. I do have the discontinued version put away and it's awesome. And this is, I mean, a tad, Maybe less performance. It still performs awesome, but uh, maybe that one performs just a little bit better. But this stuff is awesome. Almost smells identical. This is Homage. Uh, unbelievable fragrance right here, guys. Um, orange. You get some spicy notes in there. Uh, musk. And it's just so fresh and clean. And it, it's different. Uh, a little rose in there. It's just, just amazing stuff, guys. All right. Now, this one can be worn, I guess, for most of the seasons. Um, maybe not for summer, I guess it might be a, maybe a little bit too much, but again, a floral, uh, this one is just amazing, guys. It's, uh, it's, it's truly a beauty, and it's by Guerlain, and this one is Angelique Noir. So coming in at number six, uh, of course, Angelica, you got a little bit of vanilla in there, 
But uh, what's nice is you do get the fruits from the pear and the berries, and it still kind of stays um, like kind of more of like a fruity and, and springtime floral kind of fragrance. I don't get too much. It's not. It doesn't go too dark or too sweet with the vanilla. It still kind of uh, stays on that floral kind of fruity side, which is awesome for spring, and I really do enjoy this one. So. All right, guys, so many vetivers in the game, so many great vetivers in the game. Uh, extraordinary, you know, vetiver extraordinaire, Guerlain vetiver. I mean, the list goes on and on, but there's still one that I just absolutely enjoy and love. He keeps it smooth. He keeps it bright. He keeps it fresh. And then he still has a little bit of that earthy vetiver going on in there. And it's just amazing. Little hints of rose. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, it lasts about six to eight hours on my skin, which is, is good. It's not great performance, but it, it, it is just an awesome, awesome fragrance, guys. As you guys know, I love this gentleman right here, and his name is Raja Dove, and this one's Vetiver. Uh, guys, unbelievable. Coming in at my number five, Raja Dove Vetiver. Just a fantastic vetiver. Like I said, that bright, um, lemony bergamot. He does bergamot with perfection. I think he has bergamot in every single one of his fragrances, but... He just starts off with that beautiful freshness and, and it just turns into something gorgeous. So vetiver, uh, you can still get this pretty cheap. I mean, I'm not saying cheap. You can get it where it's not, it's not going crazy. I think you can get them for, you know, $250, $300. So they're still around, but they are discontinued. So, but vetiver, and then I think there's the new vetiver too. I'm sorry. Yeah, there is a new, new version of the vetiver. I, I believe it's the same, same juice. So, but uh, awesome coming in at number five. Now, number four, again, um, you know, we all know Rose 31 has its place. Great, great fragrance, but I still like this one better. Uh, just an absolute stunner. I, I love this one. Might be a little too rosy for some of you gentlemen out there, but works great again. The dry down's beautiful. Um, there's something clean about it. I'm, I can't remember what it has exactly in it, but I, I think, I know there's some, uh, well, I think there's some aldehydes, which keeps it just kind of clean. It's not like a cleaner clean, but it's more like a, just, just a beautiful, clean fragrance, but Bay Rose 26 by Le Labo. That's coming in at number four, guys. Great rose. Of course, you got some pink pepper. Oh, geez, it's just, it's so bright. Like I said, you got some of those aldehydes, I think, in there that just keep it really, really nice and clean, but Bay Rose 26 by Le Labo. All right, guys, these three are probably no surprise. This one usually comes in at number one on everyone's list, and uh, I'm not trying to be like everyone, but man, you just can't beat this scent for spring. You know, it's definitely spring in a bottle, so green, just absolutely stunning, beautiful. Uh, this is a 2011 bottle, not that that matters. I never smelled the, really the new juice, but uh, 2011 XO2, I believe. It's actually XO3, so whatever that, you know, whatever batch that is, but guys, this stuff is incredible. Um, yes, kind of the, the, um, the cool water, you know, but this stuff is just so much, I think it's just, it's a lot richer and just better, but GIT, you know, you guys all know it. I don't need to say anything about it. You know, you get that beautiful lemon violet leaf in there. Just awesome, clean fragrance. It's beautiful stuff, guys. Another one that could have been, you know, anywhere, number one, number two, number three, but uh, this one I, I've really grown to love, you know, in the beginning, it was just like, you know, it's, it's good, you know, it's, it's good. And then all of a sudden it starts getting better. And then it's like, damn, this is really good. And then this spring I started wearing it and my God, the performance is outstanding. It's amazing. You know, a lot of people bash Bond 9, but um, Bond 9's got some good fragrances out there and, and the performance is excellent on these. You know, uh, one of my favorite is still Herod's Oud by Bond 9, but this one is just spring in a bottle. I mean, it looks like spring in a bottle as well. It's just, just the paint on it. It's just gorgeous. As we know, Bleecker Street, berries, you got that blueberry note in there, which is beautiful. Uh, it still kind of stays a little woody, but man, talk about green, green, green through and through. The bottle totally represents the name. So bond number nine, Bleecker Street, guys. Awesome fragrance at number two. Number one, like I said, Creed does spring and summer to perfection. Those guys are, they just want people to enjoy their scents. They want people to have have an easy wear you can grab pretty much every creed and and you're gonna be like wow this stuff smells good and nothing's really gonna come off too offensive you know per, some lack performance but guys you know guys they smell awesome and, and they really do well this one performs well on my skin not sure what batch and all that uh, i could have went with green valley neroli sauvage i mean there's so many great creeds out there that i still love the house so much but selection vert is just one of my favorites. I label it that way, SV for Selection Vert. I'm trying to say it like Mark and uh, my boy Chad, the um, you know the French guys out there. But um, but Selection Vert, this stuff is just incredible. I have a, a flacon of it, 
but um, also uh, I keep it in this little atomizer too so I can just easy spray on it. But guys, mint, so green. Um, you get this herbal vibe to it. Uh, you got so many citruses in here. Um, I know there's that citrus blend, but with the mint, it just comes off so, so perfect on someone's skin. And believe me, guys, you know, you may get that blast of that little bit of toothpaste in the beginning with the mint, but man, it turns into something so special. I get compliments on this. I've been wearing the heck out of this for, for this spring. So, guys, that's my number one. Again, some of these could have been in my number one, but uh, but that was my list, you know, and I just, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I've been watching your guys' lists out there and so many, um, you know, so many great reviewers out there now and, and really everyone's kind of doing their thing with with the, uh, you know, all the technology and stuff we have. I, I still need to kind of get, get going with that, you know, computers and cameras and stuff, but I just love to share this passion with you guys and and I, I really, true love you guys, uh, you know, just for hanging the, hanging in there with me. You know, I'm definitely not on the, the top list for reviewers by all means, but I just enjoy this passion so much, and I, I, I'm so glad you guys share it with me. So, everyone, happy Easter, happy springtime. Uh, enjoy smelling well. You know, I, I, I just still love this game so much, and it's 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 been great, and, and, I, and I just keep getting deeper and deeper. I, I just really, really love it. So, thank you guys again for joining me. And we will talk to you soon. Thanks again.